Grand Rising family, happy Monday. Happy Monday the 6th. Family. Yes, double checking, it's the 6th, Monday the 6th. Um, hope you guys had a great weekend. I know I did. I spent uh, Sunday celebrating my bestie's birthday. We went to brunch and we went hiking on, uh, we went deep into the forest. It was wonderful. And uh, we went to a used bookstore where I actually almost have my collection complete. Um, Chiro Machetti. I met him a few years back. Um, I almost have all of his decks. I love his work. Anyways, I found this deck there. And um, actually, it found me. <laughs> That's normally how that goes, right? And, um, and I'm excited to use it today for the reading. <laughs> it's a beautiful deck. And I've been wanting this deck for a while. So it arrived right in divine timing. So I'm going to clean it and we're going to get started with the message. Thank you all so much for being here with me today, with us collectively. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, for all of your donations, for purchasing decks, as well as uh, for scheduling readings with me. The information to do all of that will be on my website in the description box below. I wanted to check the energy. Um, I was feeling... I had a, a, a full day, so I was feeling a little tired, but right before bed, Spirit said, uh, do the reading. I was going to do it tomorrow morning because of that, right, my energy. But I don't know. Spirit said, do it now. So here we are. Okay. Let me just cleanse the energy because I just I had a full day, like I said. And uh, I want to make sure the energy is cleansed first. Cleansing the deck here real quick, a little more. All right, I'm gonna say my prayer. We're gonna get started. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels and spirit guys. May this message reach everyone that needs it, and so it is, and so it is, and so it is. All right, I'm gonna split, yeah, I'm just gonna start with this. I'm gonna split the deck. We have, I wish I could show you this, this image because it's so beautiful. And uh, it's the illustration, the artwork is incredible, but unfortunately, because of uh, YouTube's guidelines and rules, I can't. Um, and I'm not going to color it in and ruin this. So I'm just going to cover it. This is the star split the deck. This is the star card. See that? So Aquarius energy. Beautiful energy here of hope and faith and healing and um, inspiration. Strong connection to the cosmos. Strong connection to spirit. Spirituality here. Okay. Beautiful. Off to a great start family all right for for monday for monday the sixth what is the message spirit we have the queen of swords so so you need to speak your truth to somebody or somebody needs to speak their truth to you set some kind of a boundary cut things out that no longer serves okay what else is the message for the collective for monday we have the eight of coins, okay? Focusing on something, focusing on your studies, focusing on your work, putting a lot of time, energy, and effort, paying attention to the details, being very dedicated and uh, devoted here to something that you're working on and um, having a lot of patience with your process. You're mastering something. What else here? The two of coins, okay? Needing to, working on... Uh, juggling life's responsibilities right um this is all pentacles is all material world it's the mundane um uh, you know uh, when i see the two of pentacles and the eight of pentacles it's just really 
focusing on your on your like responsibilities, right? Um, working with, you know, riding the wave of change, going through some changes. Things are moving and flowing here in your life. Things are ebbing and flowing, going and coming, coming and going. What else? So that, okay. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit said that there's going to be a lot of, a lot of things that's going to try to come in to distract you. Six of cups, memories, past, past memories, nostalgia things like that okay um stay focused is the message uh it's time to get to work okay um i, I do feel like there's going to be things that's going to be i feel like you some of you guys could be walking a tight rope on something i do feel like uh, there are things that are going to try to come your way here but i'm getting a strong message of staying focused and grounded getting to work on something here staying dedicated yeah, staying dedicated, seven of pentacles, look, because the work that you're doing, the time, energy, and effort that you're putting into something is coming to fruition here for you, okay? Cause and effect, right? This is whatever we put energy into comes to fruition, you know. I'm also getting, uh, yes, it's coming to fruition. Your time, your your hard work is paying off. Your time of waiting here, okay? Um, we have the hermit here. So this is just also, I'm getting, it's time to collect. It's time to collect. I got that, but I'm also getting um, patience. Lots of energy of having a lot of patience, okay? Here, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Things are still fl flowing in, coming to fruition for you, okay? Lots of Pentacles, all Pentacles. So very strong message here of getting grounded, of uh, taking good care of yourself. I saw the Hermit. Um, taking very good care of yourself, nurturing yourself, putting a lot of time, energy, and effort into uh, whatever it is that you're focused, this manifestation that you're focused on. Something that you've been working on for a while, that you planted seeds here in the past, is coming to fruition here really soon, okay? So you're approaching some kind of major change, or you're in the middle of a change with the Two of Pentacles. Um, things are coming in, is what I'm getting. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. We have here the Seven of Wands. Stay focused. Stay determined here, okay? On whatever it is. Hold your vision. Uh, your determination here on whatever you're working in is paying off. Okay, the Seven of Wands is don't let anything distract you or anyone for that matter. Set boundaries. Oh, I like this energy. I love, I love this energy here of focus. I love it. Give me one for the two of coins. So your hard work and determination here is paying off with the eight of pentacles, the seven of wands. You're reaping some kind of reward here, okay? It's coming to fruition for you. Your vision, two of pentacles. Clarify the two of pentacles from Monday the 6th. What is this? Okay. We have the knight of swords and the king of swords jumped sideways masculine energy here and the page of wands so needing to think on your feet here okay that's going to be very important for you or there's it could be an energy your energy or somebody in your energy i love these i love these cards so much look at this how beautiful is the artwork i, I just love his work i have almost all of his decks <laughs> it's the first time i'm actually seeing um so there's a sense of urgency it feels like with the knight of swords when it comes to communicating something and you're going back and forth about it or somebody is going back and forth about um there is like a a, a, a a need to stand your ground on something here okay um and, and and speak up i did remember we saw early in the beginning it says setting some boundaries the queen of swords cutting Cutting people out of their life, your life, their life that no longer serves, uh, you know, by speaking your truth, okay? Don't go back and forth too much. You know what to do. You have the answers. Listen to your intuition. You know exactly what to do. It's, it is time to, to speak up and not tiptoeing around the situation anymore. It's time to face the elephant in the room for somebody here. Whatever this is, okay? If somebody wants to talk and there's a sense of urgency. Okay? King of Swords here. 
somebody that's very focused, very ambitious, very determined, very, very passionate, uh, very focused, I'm getting. We have the world that wanted to almost flip out with the emperor at the bottom of the deck, the divine masculine. So the world is the ending of a cycle here, okay? And um, so this, this, whatever it is that you're being challenged with, with the seven of wands, the seven of wands is a challenge. Uh, your focus is what's getting you. Okay. I also heard, yeah, your focus is what's getting you through it. Okay. Um, your focus on, on your end goal, on your vision here. Um, I'm also getting here that somebody here may have some strong boundaries when it comes to, you know, the energy that they are willing to extend towards uh, another. Okay, I feel like I feel like if somebody is not going to put the same amount of time, energy, and effort that you dedicate and put into yourself, you're not interested in having a conversation. Um, but the Seven of Pentacles, clarify that. The world, okay, so the world actually jumped again. Spirit said, I said what I said. So... There is this this cycle, this this again, something is coming to fruition. So whatever you've been working on here, it, it's it's like um it's coming to fruition. You're reaching some kind of culmination here, okay? Uh, it's like you you getting some kind of an accomplishment. It's the end of this waiting period here with the seven of pentacles. We have the nine of swords here at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is having a lot of worry and a lot of anxiety about this ending of this cycle. Okay, again, needing to face the elephant in the room. We can't avoid something anymore. <sighs> Somebody can't get out of their head about something here, probably about something that they're dealing with. Five of Swords with the Queen of Wands. A very deceptive queen here, okay? Um doesn't have that that really wants to somebody feels stuck and wounded over you know there's a there's a I don't like this energy surrounding this queen at all a seven of swords and the five of swords and sandwiched between is the queen of wands this is like somebody here that's not the most the high, the highest vibrational person this is somebody that's deceptive that wears a mask that is um you know controlling and manipulative and uh probably doing some black magic and you know black magic family is just somebody that has that sends ill intent towards another person i don't feel i'm not getting the vibe from the way that she looks i don't like the way that she looks surrounded by the, the these energies here i don't get the energy of the vibe here that this person look at her face Surrounded by the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. Has good intentions towards another person here, okay? Somebody, it could be somebody, oh, okay, there's a higher font here, marriage. Could be regarding a marriage that somebody feels like a victim in. They're, they're stressed out, having a lot of anxiety. That's what's possibly coming to an end here with the World card is this struggle, this war that they're having with this... Uh, not the best energy person or this could be you that you're needing to put your guard up um you or this person whoever i'm talking about here and that's resonating with this and needs to put their guard up and set some boundaries okay and stay focused on on their on their goal their vision their destination here uh clarify the world not the world. Well, okay. Okay. King of Wands. Another masculine energy. And the Fool. Okay, awesome. So, somebody's getting their confidence back, their fire back. Again, you know, their life spark energy here. I don't know if this is the same person or two people, and that's what the juggling could be. A, a, a decision between two people here. Could be that. Uh, where when I see kings, it doesn't necessarily, there's no gender here. It's the energy. It's masculine energy. I'm getting here that, um, 
somebody's getting real with their situation it feels like with the king of swords and and the nine of swords I, I it feels like they're fighting for you know holding their focus holding their vision working hard here and fighting for standing their ground you know uh standing up for what they believe in and being assertive okay and taking matters into their own hands and, and getting things done getting things straightened out getting things right in their life here okay and um, I, I, with the Two of Pentacles, I heard spirits say, um, loose ends, tying up loose ends, closing stuff out here. It's giving this person, this person's feeling more inspired, more confident, okay? Look, more free-spirited, more clear-minded, even more in their emotions, okay? We have Death card, Scorpio energy, wow. We have the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Death card here. So Scorpio energy twice. We have the Fool and the Ace of Swords. That's now, I'm, I'm getting this energy of now I feel free. I feel liberated. Two cards of freedom and liberation. Lightheartedness. You know, uh, look at this beautiful eagle. Wow, this deck is incredible. Lightheartedness. You know, um, somebody wants to take a leap of faith uh, towards, because they have clarity. They have clarity of mind, King of Swords. They want to see some kind of opportunity, okay? Somebody has been liberated here, or they're gonna, they, or soon is happening. Wow, interesting. The fools in the world, and okay, yeah, the fool in the world are the only major arcanas here. So there's a, a, a huge ending and a huge new beginning. Somebody got, you know, um, help here from the divine with the ace of swords the ace of swords is a victory and a triumph and as well as clarity and peace of mind um communication clear communication success it's a brand new beginning based on truth based based on truth somebody feels free and liberated here okay I love this energy. Yeah, so it's like they're getting what they they're manifest. They're they're feeling more balanced here with the two of pentacles. They they feel more ready. They feel like they're they're their financial goals, okay? They're feeling more stable. It's coming to fruition here for them. They're able to um I'm getting somebody very proud and very happy of the investment that they made. Okay, thus far. Whatever that's coming in for this person with the Seven of Pentacles is able to is helping this person to close out a cycle. Then they needed to close out. I'm getting an energy of smiling and satisfied energy. They had to get real with themselves. They had to stand up for themselves, be assertive and be bold and take matters into their own hands. So, um, tell me more about this King of, this Knight of Swords. What is this? I love, I like this energy a lot. Wow, Ace of Coins. So, because of that, family, because of that, this person now, see, they have, they got their the Ace of Swords. They got their epiphany, their aha moment, their breakthrough here. So, uh with the ace of swords and that's exactly what they need to give them direction okay they went through some kind of an awakening during a pause a sacred pause and um and it's like now they're seizing the opportunity like i said with the ace of pentacles they're not gonna let the opportunity slip out of their fingers slip out of their hands no this person is clear. They see clearly. And there and, and there is a sense of urgency because this person, I feel, knows that the opportunity is not going to be there right, waiting for them. That's not how opportunities work. There's window of time frame, right? But if you miss it, there's always another opportunity for another opportunity somewhere else, Okay. Um, but this is the golden opportunity, opportunity, I heard spirits say. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles for this night. This is what they want to talk about to the Queen of Swords. This is what they want to talk about to the Queen of Swords. So now we have the King and the Queen of Swords. So our conversation is coming in. Conversation is coming in here. 
So there's two people here. Wow. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Wow, what a beautiful... Uh, um, what a beautiful Ace of Cups. This is such a gorgeous deck. Um, the, so, the, so these are two people here that are going to have a very serious conversation, okay? About the truth. About the truth. You know, we have here... There's, there's a new opportunity here for love, for new love and for this love to turn into something stable, okay? We plant the seed and it grows into the Ten of Pentacles, right? So this is what I feel this, this, uh, this conversation needs to be about here is about where we stand here regarding there's, there could be some confusion, or again, multiple options. There's another king here, right? But this conversation needs to be honest, and it will be. But I do feel it won't be, it, it will be two people here that are very practical and very logical. Two people here that has been through hardships that may have their walls up a bit, their guard up. And uh, two people that can meet intellectually and mentally right can uh get along really well when it comes to speaking but when it comes to emotions and opening up i do feel these two people have been through a lot of hardships in their life you know um but i i, I don't know i'm getting a feeling that these two people are not emotionally open or, or the conversation won't be about anything emotional or, or vulnerability. It's just going to be like logical and I wouldn't even say practical. But tell me about what. So the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords is her sword up. There's people that have their walls up here. Okay. Um, somebody knows what they want and they're not settling for less. Queen of Swords. Why does the King of Swords have the sword up here? I want the truth and nothing but the truth, I heard spirits say. What's this Queen of Swords? Huh. I just heard spirits say, when you close this cycle out, there's a new energy here that wants to come in from the Queen of Wands. I mean, sorry, King of Wands. But a conversation needs to be had. Wow, now we have the Queen of Wands, the King and Queen of Wands. Interesting. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. The sit yeah, exactly. If this uh contract, this arrangement, this proposition, this you know, offer here that's coming in, if it's not equal give and take, reciprocal, you know, that's that's what the Queen of Swords it you know is what the conversation that's what that's what we're talking about here right if it if it's like not balanced not equal reciprocity yeah the wheel of fortune here there is a something coming in here to the queen of swords but the queen of swords again it has a sort of a little cold detached aloof might even be a little emotionally unavailable here um very careful and cautious with her energy when it comes to reciprocity right i'm not i'm not putting energy into situations that i don't see going the ten of pentacles going the long haul that i can plant a seed and and, and grow and and nurture it you know uh, it's like i feel like this queen of swords has had enough and the queen of swords is saying I'm not doing it if it's not going to grow if it's not going to expand Right, if it's not in alignment with my path, my destined path, you know, then I'm not interested. I feel like, again, it's time to collect, right? I do feel like the, the communication is really important. Communication is key here. And the Queen of Swords is saying, oh, here comes the, what is this? The Knight, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups. The Queen of Swords is very serious. I feel like the Queen of Swords is, is, only in the energy for like serious, balanced type of uh, relationships that we can take this pinnacle, we can grow it, we can plant it, we can build together, we can grow together, we can do, you know, uh, 
This is a very independent energy, that's why. Okay. Huh. Interesting energy. I want to I want to get some information here. Uh, before I move on to the King of Wands, tell me, give me one more here on the Queen of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Only balance. Reciprocal, equal give and receive. Queen of Swords, I, I feel, for some of you, don't take this if this is not your message, but I do feel the Queen of Swords is, you know, uh, right now, if is only willing to invest in, in, when it comes to romance, okay? Only willing to invest in somebody, I, I heard vetting, vetting, vetting for marriage. Only willing to invest in somebody that she can see spending her life with, uh, her match, which the King of Swords is, is the match to the Queen of Swords. So let's tell me a little bit about this King of Swords. Tell me about this King of Swords. Somebody's not backing down here with the Seven of Wands on, on what they, you know, what they deserve and they are worthy of and what they want for themselves. Not backing down. Somebody did a lot of work on themselves here, okay, with the Eight of Coins to master themselves, to master their energy, Seven of Pentacles, right? Put a lot of energy, time, and effort into themselves, into their life, into their... They're not backing down here when it comes to... Or settling. I'm not getting that energy at all. The tower at the bottom of the deck. King of Swords. So it's like... I'm, I'm getting very serious energy. Upper chakras. King of Swords. Tell me about this King of Swords. The Empress. And justice. King of Swords could be going through something legal at this time. They could be at a crossroads, okay? Right now. That's what the Two of Pentacles could be about, the juggling for this person. It's like they want to rush in and talk to a Queen of Swords. I'm getting that as well. Um, we got three Libra energies here. Uh, yeah, three Libra energy here and the scales there. So that's significant to any one of you guys. Um, yeah, so there's a direction, there's a decision that this king of sword needs to make with justice, the two of wands and the two of pentacles. Okay. Um, I'm getting that as well. Give me one more. The, the empress is a divine feminine. Um, I do feel like this king of swords sees the queen of swords. If this is the queen, if the queen of swords is the same person as the empress, as somebody that want to, you know, be very generous with spoil. Right, um, because the Empress is a divine feminine, is very nurturing, is very loving, is very kind, patient. The Empress, everything she touches turns to gold. Everything that's given to her multiplies. She attracts in a lot of abundance, a lot of growth, a lot of fertility, a lot of animals, children. Um, holds space for growth. The Empress is unconditional love, beauty, pleasure, and abundance. So it's like the ultimate. The person that you you know marry okay and have a family with very patient kind and understanding give me one on the empress for this king of swords oh okay i see now so okay that's that's the urgency that's the rushing in that's uh okay so this person lost the empress in the past five of cups there's regret and now they want to rush in to talk but they know that they're going to come face to face with the queen of swords um i think the queen of swords is willing to listen again and these are the the requirements i would say you know the queen of swords is willing to listen to what the what 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 the offer is right we're not doing anything that's not balanced, get, uh, reciprocal, equal give and take here, okay? No no one's giving more than the other. And the Queen of Swords is saying, I'm not giving more. Um, I've done that. I was the empress in your life. Um, this is somebody that's grieving. Five of Cups, the loss of the empress. Because they may have perhaps juggled the empress in the past. Wow. 
So there's a cycle that's ending. I'm, I'm getting, picking up on two energies here, okay? Two different energies. So there's a cycle that needs to end. Somebody needs to forgive themselves, forgive another person. There's a cycle that needs to end here so a new one can start to fool. So a lot of, you know, uh, that's what this king maybe wants to talk about with the queen of swords is they might want to make amends i saw the justice a bunch of times trying to make things right queen of wands here oh wow five of yeah look at what happened oh my god yeah that's why this person regrets this person was lured remember we saw the queen of wands earlier and sandwiched in by the seven of swords and the five of swords. This per I wouldn't say lured, okay? Everyone has free will. Seduced. And this they juggled their empress, the love of their life here, family. And uh, got themselves. They ended up losing money. Five of pentacles. They ended up feeling trapped. They ended up feeling heartbroken and miserable. This person here was a nightmare nightmare in this person's life the person that they juggled and, and that's the regret that they chose uh over the empress over their divine feminine and now they're trying to figure out how do i what do i say how do i come back there's a lot of pain this person so i wouldn't say sold their soul to the to the sold their soul to the you know the darker entities the darker forces here but i do feel like when you're heartbroken, when you're sad, and when you're in this energy here of, you know, this, this despair and, and, and grief and sadness and devastation, you attract in, like, uh, Klingons, parasites, uh, you know, uh, negative energy. You attract in darker energies, negative energy, not, not negative force attaches to you. We attract the energy there we are. So... If the you know, so this person just uh attracted in this this entity that was meant to teach them a very valuable lesson about a they were meant to grow from this experience, see the hermit, and they have grown. They have matured a lot, so it served a huge purpose. This person needs to see the other perspective, hanged man of the situation, right? It was a a karmic contract that needed to be fulfilled. They need to forgive themselves here, you know, and um, and look, this is what they're seeing. They're seeing the true, tr what true, they're seeing true love, the, you know, the difference between lust, Queen of Wands energy, that ended up, they ended up losing money here. They ended up feeling trapped. Ten of, look, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, a brutal betrayal ending here, backstabbing, okay, abandonment, rejection, out in the coal, lots of loss, lots of loss, lots of pain here, a devastating loss, okay, um, a very painful betrayal, this person, this entity that, that came in created a lot of uh, devastation in this person's life and your life, okay, um, but it was meant to teach for, for folks to mature this, this time that this person has spent uh, doing the, the, you know, introspection, the soul searching, the self-reflection, the self-evaluating, the going within the spending time in solitude. They have a, they're now able to see the difference here between true love, two of cups, soulmate relationship, divine counterpart, spiritual partner, their true, true love versus this energy here okay so i do feel this person wants to talk so there is so this person wants to offer the queen of swords this pentacle look walked away walk walking away from what no longer serves okay they that's what this person is doing after spending time in hermit mode here they are you know this person, I, I don't like the Queen of Wands in this deck. <laughs> Her energy is uh, not very, not, not the best energy. So somebody is dead set focused here on, on, they're determined. I don't feel like this person is going to back down on coming in here and giving this Queen of Swords uh, this offer. 
okay? Uh, tell me more about, they, won't for, they need to forgive themselves. That's why they're so emotionally detached and cold here. They have a heart chakra, sacral chakra imbalance because they're in a lot of shame, guilt, regret. Embarrassed, I heard. Both showing up in the same energy. Both has been through a lot here. Okay, so um, there is a sense. They're going back and forth on this communication. This King of Swords. Tell me about this King of Wands. Five of Swords. Surrendering. They're, they're not accepting defeat. I like this energy. I do feel the King of Wands is a little controlling. It has a lot of ego, a very large ego. Okay. Let me get one more so I can gauge the energy of this King of Wands. Let me get one more for this King of Wands, please. I feel I'm, I'm getting good energy of him standing up for himself finally. If this is this person. But let me try to, let me see. I don't know if this is another person. Ten of Swords. Yeah, they're going. So I, I do feel like this person is 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 fighting back. Give me, give me one more on this King of Wands. Is this even the same person? This person had to learn these lessons, and, and it did help them. They, they were in hermit mode. You saw the beard uh, of maturity here. We have here the Page of Pentacles. It could be something to do with the child, okay? We have the devil. They're bound to some kind of situation because of a child. I'm getting that as well. But, um, hmm. We have here the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody, there's the devil energy at the bottom of the deck, which I don't like. That's like a, a very large ego, okay? Um, I'm seeing that. So, okay, so this person here is not very this king of this king of wands okay is not they they they're wearing a map they 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 put this facade okay of arrogance and uh cockiness and like they're confident because they really feel like they're not they're not enough king good night uh i'm sorry page of pentacles this is how they really feel on the inside so it's uh all for show with this devil card here very large ego. I'm getting that if it if it if this is if this story doesn't have anything to do with the child, if it has something to do with the child, this person is closing is completing accomplishing something, getting what they need here, closing something out, starting a new chapter in their life. Tell me about this page of pentacles. Be very cautious where you invest your energy with, okay? Any new energy. Um because they may not, they may have a hidden agenda or a hidden motive with you. Okay. I'm getting that. I'm not getting the best energy. Tell me about this page of pentacles here. To the queen of pentacles. And the, and, okay. Okay. Something is coming to fruition here, okay? So, we have the lovers. The bottom, isn't it beautiful lovers? At the bottom of the deck with the nine of wands. Somebody isn't letting go. But they can't help but look back, okay? They're like, we're still, we have some unfinished business here. It's like, no, somebody isn't letting go, not losing hope. I feel like there is a new opportunity here. After... But a cycle needs to be closed out first with the world. Okay? There's a new opportunity, possibly with someone new. With this uh, king of king of, of pentacle. I'm sorry, uh, king of wands. They, 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 I don't know if this is the best energy though. Okay? That's going to be for you to gauge whether or not this person is in their ego or not. Um, I do feel this person wants to fight. For the Queen of Pentacles, and it's like they're not going to back down very easily from pursuing the Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting that. 
but it's like I feel like there's still an immaturity with this person okay uh, even though they're showing up as a king like I said I feel it's a mask but I do feel like um, I do feel like that we can't move on until we close something out that needs to be closed out maybe more forgiveness this is somebody that's very wounded more forgiveness more detachment there's still more to learn here this, this relationship was uh, incredibly significant for your spiritual growth and sp spiritual evolution. It's a card of spiritual growth. This is the wounded warrior. Battle year. You've been through the quite the battle with this uh, twin flame soulmate connection here. You're exhausted. You're on the verge of giving up. But it's like it really helped you to, to, re to regain your worth here, okay? You learned a lot about your worth and your value and uh, when it comes to that. But I'm also getting here that this person is in the process. I'm getting that as well. But I'm getting that this person here is in the process of uh, closing some a cycle out when it comes to some kind. Look, because as you can see, it looks like, I can't help but notice that, it looks like there is some kind of fight or a battle over a child with the queen. This queen it tends to be in a commitment. The wife, the mother, things like that. Okay, I'm getting that strongly. And it's like, don't give up. We're almost there with the world card. We're almost there. Somebody wants to come in and have an honest conversation with you. But I do feel like they're finally standing up for what they need to stand up. They're not accepting defeat. What's this world? Yeah, we have here the four of pentacles. So the four of pentacles is what we're holding on to that needs to be closed out. We need to let it go. And I feel like it could be money could be that if somebody's trying to hold on to uh, whatever they can when it comes to their finances here again I feel like it could be something to do with that we keep seeing this these these two queens here in the reading you know uh, we have two queens and two kings tell me about this queen of pentacles I'm also getting there's somebody here that can't let go of you, which is why the cycle can't close. You know, it now wants to come in and fight for you and offer you this pentacle, right? Offer you this pentacle. They're not taking no for an answer. I'm getting that as well. So it's a lot of you guys. So every I'm get I'm getting different different stories from different uh, messages because it could resonate. You know. For a few of you guys dif differently we have here the four of cups a there's a lot of fantasy okay a lot of daydreamy energy a lot of meditative energy i'm getting what could have been what should have been uh somebody's not grounded okay there's somebody here that was uh, confused uh, procrastinating in an illusion energy feeling bored discontent apathy but it's like they went through some kind of transformation death card Tell me here what Queen of Coins. Give me one of these Queen of Coins. Oh no, a little more. Who she is. Justice. Yeah, didn't I say something legal? This person is going through something legal with this Queen of Coins regarding a child, it looks like. With the page there. And the Five of Swords. Okay. I do feel like it could have something to do with money. Because of the Four of Pentacles. And we have the Knight of Cups. Six of Cups. Wow, this person is nostalgic. They're they, they dreaming. They can't wait. Look, they're, they're retreating. They're healing. They can't wait to come in here. <laughs> they can't wait to free themselves from this situation. And I do feel like this person has... What's the, creating the delay, Seven of Pentacles, is that this person has a lot of ego. 
It's like they're not letting go of something that they need to let go of. Could be, I don't know what it could be for this person. Four of Pentacles are holding on really tight to whatever they need to, you know. And it's like they're, they're, I'm, there's like a fine line between, you know, standing in your corner, fighting for yourself, fighting for what you deserve, and doing the right thing morally, virtuous, fair. And, you know, wanting to win at any cost, like ego-based, right? I want to win at any cost, no matter who I hurt, you know, and and uh, not letting go, not surrendering, not accepting defeat, you know, even if it's um, affecting their health or sacrificing a lot of other important things in their life uh you know including and especially their health and things like that so um i'm not i'm getting that this cycle can't close until this person here four four pentacles let's go of something that they need to let go of and i feel like this person with this five of cups and the four of pentacles has uh an issue letting things go Struggle with letting go. Sentimental stuff even I'm getting. What is this person holding on to? Here with the Four of Pentacles. Their money. It's like constant dispute. Constant fighting. Constant arguing. Three of Pentacles. They're, they're, I feel like this person is working on rebuilding. Yeah, it's their stability. Their stability. Their security and their stability. Yeah, this person here is not... I, I don't feel like this person is... Uh, with the Four of Pentacles, is telling me this person is not interested in compromising. <laughs> working together as a team here. The, the, four, the Four of Pentacles is a very selfish energy. Rigid. Controlling. Miserly. So it's like a very self-focused energy. The Three of Pentacles is, is people working together as a team. You know, compromise, coming together. This person is really just uh, wants to make sure they rebuild their stability here. And that's what this, this person is focused on, is rebuilding, rebuilding their stability. Yeah. That's what they're, they're trying to hold on to. Which is understandable. Right? So this person here, we got the three and the four of pentacles. Another four with the four with I'm sorry, that this is not the four of pentacles. This is the higher font. I saw I, I, this looked it this looked exactly like the four of wands. My bad, it's the higher font. Again, stability, their security. Higher font represents Taurus energy. That's very important to this person. As it is with everyone. So, hmm, 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 let's see. So, and that's what this person has been working so hard on here is their rebuilding. It's like, I've, I'm feeling like this person it struggles with closure. I do. Magician energy. So tell me about the Six of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups. What's the Six of Pentacles? I'm sorry, not the Queen of Cups, Spirit. The Queen of Swords. The Six of Pentacles. Tell me about this with the Queen of Swords. The Emperor. Wow. This person is coming in as the Emperor. Taking charge. Being generous, taking responsibility, accountability, and the leadership, the divine masculine. We have now we have the emperor and the empress here in the same reading. The divine masculine, divine feminine. Huh. That's the only way, family, this is going to work with the queen of swords is if this person shows up as the emperor. Assertive leader taking taking control protective energy structured stable mature okay um this is looking good this is looking really good 
This person here has finally got gathered the confidence here to stand up and fight for themselves. This person is very focused. Finally gathered the confidence to stand up and fight for their right here. Have they been working on? They're, they're coming to this conclusion and this completion here is because they're finally feeling becoming more stable. They're getting what they need. It's coming to fruition. More balance here. This is what they've been working on. They've been working on you know, uh, on, on this, on their energy here, so they can have a fresh start in love. Wow, it's very clear. And it was this loss, this regret, this devastation that fueled this person, that made them want to get their shit together, their life in order. Because they want to come in like the emperor. They're coming in like the emperor. And the queen of swords is very discerning and intuitive. There's a sense of urgency, but I still feel like they're going they're they're struggling to listen to their intuition they're in their heads a lot with the king of swords about this action to take they're going back and forth on it yeah it's time for this new beginning look a return six of cups two returns and judgment wow what a beautiful judgment card six of the fool getting ready to take a leap of faith on this so things are good family they're coming they're coming to fruition here i want to get i want to get uh tell me what i need to know about this emperor the emperor showing up which means the, the work that this person is doing is working their focus is becoming more more grounded more disciplined more you know look more grounded more disciplined more focused more determined getting their stuff in order getting their shit right Wow, they really felt the loss of the Empress in their heart. I'm getting this person was, was so cold and detached and pushed the Empress away. I don't even think this person even knew what love was, that what they were feeling was love, because I don't think they ever felt love like that before. So it wasn't until they got to experience uh, a situation that wasn't love that they were able to really clearly see what love was. It's like it snuck up on them. This love is snuck up on them. Oh, this deck is huge. Spirit, give me one on this emperor, please. The emperor with the six of, of pentacles and the queen of swords. March, they could have a birthday in spring, March to May 5th. Something may have happened in the spring or, or this could just be that this person is blossoming and blooming give me one of this emperor or something may happen in march to to towards march and may that's just a, a, a time frame here or something could have started for this emperor in the spring the process maybe emperor clarify the emperor give me one of this emperor with the six of coins libra didn't we get i got a lot of libra here energy romantic and charming diplomatic fair idealistic social clever and smart indecisive right here two of pentacles self-pity we have five of cups here vain mm. king of wands could be that as well unreliable superficial ambivalent lazy and fearful is the negative traits but i don't feel like the emperor is embodying the negative traits I know I acted as if I couldn't make up my mind, two of pentacles, about our relationship. But it was really because I was scared. Scared of hurting you and you hurting me. Yeah, lots of fear got in the way. Let's get more for this emperor. Give me one more on this emperor. So with the emperor showing up, the emperor's all four kings in one and a couple of kings on the board. I do feel it's the same person. you know, uh, channeling these energies or, you know, finally coming out of their root and working with their other, activating their other chakras, working with their other chakras, speaking more for, up for themselves, feeling more confident, king of wands, being more assertive. Give me one more on this emperor, please. With the six of coins and the queen of swords. So this person here was entangled in a situation here 
that was there false with a false person. F maybe for power. Maybe for power. We have here false flame causes you emotional distress and creates conflicts. You are unsure of their feelings towards you. You give more than they do, which is that's not what I'm seeing here with the Queen of Swords at all. Um, they do not help you grow. And you feel uncomfortable around them. That's how you know it's not your person. You may think you found the one, but they wouldn't cause you so much stress if they were. Wake up and realize our connection is the real deal. So, again, we have here uh, two divine counterparts. The Emperor and the Empress. We have Aries energy, Emperor energy here. Two divine counterparts. And then we have a mismatch here. Right, a queen, a pentacles, and the king of wands. Okay, so it wasn't, uh, I feel like that's what that's the situation that this person got themselves entangled with. That five of cups, they regret. They were with a false, their false person. Passionate, this person is Aries, energy, emperor. Passionate, driven, leader, energetic, restless, ambitious. Now, the, 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 the negative side, which caused them to create the five of cups in their life, is that they're impulsive. Impatient, aggressive, mood swings, angers easily. I was impulsive, irrational, and selfish. I pushed this connection to its breaking point. I'm sorry for causing so much conflict in our lives. So yeah, so this is what this person wants to return. And uh, critical junctures again, and Scorpio at the bottom of the deck. Critical junctures, taking a big leap of faith. Major decision, mm-hmm. Major decisions affecting the outcome. Turning points that alter the course of the evolution of the connection. This is a huge turning point. I know how I, I know now I have control. I know now I have control of my life. No one is holding me captive and no one is controlling my circumstances. I recognize the power of my free will and I choose to be happy. That's this energy. So critical juncture. This person is, uh, you know, um, Taking charge of their life. Taking charge of their life. They are choosing to be happy. That's that's this person's energy. Let me get some romance angels. Tell me about this emperor spirit. Clarify this emperor. Please. Chemistry. Lots of chemistry. This is that. This is your divine flame. There's a magnetic attraction. You guys pulling each other back in. What else? So this person is taking a stand in their life. Choosing to be happy. Yeah, they loving themselves first. This is huge improvement for this divine masculine that I'm reading about or for here. Beautiful energy. Give me more. I love this deck. I had to use it tonight. Wedding. We have wedding and passion. So this person, clarify wedding. Lots of passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Clarify wedding getting to know each other so this person wants to retreat with you see the wedding dress there wants to retreat with you okay wants to come out of separation here and um as you re and reveal their innermost selves with you reveal things to you about them okay um i'm getting here there is a, a learning a learning right Oh, I'm getting to know each other again after a period of separation. Okay, I don't know how long you guys been separated for, but um, sorry, I heard something else. The spirits said, "Yeah, no, that's not the message, spirit." I I heard spirits say that the emperor is a different person, but no, I'm not getting that at all. That the emperor could be a different, a completely different person here that you're getting to know, okay? And that's what somebody feels like they lost you here. Where's my deck? Yeah, because look, Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck could be a completely different person. So I feel like you're vetting for marriage, wedding here, okay? Give me one of this emperor. Yeah, no. This 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 is this person. This is this person here that is it's time for this person to take control. 
This is a strategist. This is somebody that's strategizing here to come forward, to come towards you and communicate with you. Page of Wands, Page of Swords, they're watching. You from a distance, Three of Wands. Okay? I do feel like this is a person that wasn't honest with you in the past. That they're coming in, taking accountability. Seven of Swords, they're coming in, they're taking accountability, they're taking charge. This is not somebody new. I do feel that this person hasn't revealed much to you. They, they hide a lot of things from you here. Okay? But I do see with the Knight of Swords, King of Swords, they're ready to reveal the truth to you. They're ready to come forward here and talk to you. Okay? They're getting ready to. Pay two pages and the, and the three of wands, that's what they're preparing to. And there's the star again. That's what they're being guided by the stars. The stars are aligning for this. It's somebody's manifestation and wish that's coming to fruition here. Very clear. Very clear on that. Okay, so I'm going to leave it right here, family. It's a long reading. I'm tired as well. But um, then we'll, we'll, we'll check in tomorrow um, and see. But this is beautiful. This is beautiful. There's a lot of healing here. Okay. Um, this person is seeing clearly. Uh, they have been working really, really hard on getting their life together. They're, you know, they showed up as the emperor upright. Okay. I do feel like they are strategizing and planning, uh, planning something, planning something here with the three of wands, planning to come forward. I feel like they are watching you at a distance here with the seven of swords. Okay. But there is a lot of stuff that they still need to reveal to you. Okay. Um, I guess they're trying to see what's the best way to approach you because you're showing up as the queen of swords to this person, cold and detached, you know, and serious and not very open. So I guess we shall see family. This is a beautiful message. I love you all and uh, have a great Monday and uh, keep your thoughts positive. Thank you so much for being here. I love you all. God bless you and namaste. Much love. Till next time.